I recently purchased the Raspberry Pi 4 and I also purchased a case for it to protect it. If you're not familiar with the Raspberry Pi, it's a microcomputer the size of a credit card that has display ports and audio ports and you can plug in a keyboard and mouse to it and run it as a small little portable computer. This is the case that I purchased and I'll include the link uh, to the Amazon page where I purchased it. It's a $20 kit and it's an acrylic case with a built-in fan. And I'm just going to unbox it in this video and show you what comes in the kit when you purchase it. So it has some extras. It has these HDMI adapters. This first one's an adapter from uh, micro HDMI to full size HDMI. There's two micro HDMI ports on the Raspberry Pi 4 and this just adapts it to a full size HDMI cable so you can use an existing cable. It also has another HDMI cable that's uh, integrated into one. So this will just plug directly into the Raspberry Pi and it converts from a micro, uh, micro HDMI to a full size HDMI without needing to use an additional cable. I'm in the US and so I'm using an AC power adapter. This adapts it down to 5 volts and it's a USB type C connector. So let's just plug right into the Raspberry Pi. It also has an on off switch which is, which is a nice feature so you can turn it on and off without having to just unplug it directly from the wall. This is where it plugs into on the Raspberry Pi board. And the USB Type-C connector is non-directional, so you can plug it in either way, and it will work perfectly. This is the actual case. It's made from laser-cut acrylic, and I chose the black version. So it's all pre-cut, and it's held together with four screws. These are the little rubber feet that can be applied to the bottom of it. They just have adhesive on the bottom. You would apply it right here to the bottom of the case. The acrylic has this protective adhesive on it already, this protective paper, so you can just peel this off. The kit comes with a Phillips screwdriver to take these screws off. Here's the fan with the uh, hardware to install it in the case as well. And I have a separate video showing how to put this case together, I just a little time lapse of putting it together and installing the Raspberry Pi if you're interested. These are the heat sinks that it comes with, so there's four heat sinks for the different process for the processor and the different chips on the board. Uh, there's three different types here, two of them are the same, and they're just aluminum heat sinks with adhesive on the back and a little protective strip, so you just peel that off and stick it directly to uh, the chips. There's no, uh, no other adhesive or uh, thermal paste or anything like that. Also in the kit is a USB adapter that adapts to a micro SD card so that you can write the uh, image or the ISO uh, image to uh, for the Raspberry Pi operating system. I'll be using Raspbian. There's very clear instructions in English showing how to put the kit together as well as how to install the heat sinks and how to set up the fan and where to wire up the fan to make it work. Well that's the kit guys. Hopefully you found this video informative. Again you can find the link in the description of this video. Thanks for watching.